With SUVs and crossovers being the main go-to family vehicles, minivans have been seeing a very sharp decline in sales ever since the 2000s. The Chrysler minivans in recent years haven't been as competitive as some of its rivals like the Toyota Sienna and the Honda Odyssey, but with this new generation of the Chrysler minivan and being the first to be built with Fiat, Chrysler thinks the revival is so big that it needs a new nameplate. So let's go ahead and check out this all new 2017 Chrysler Pacifica Touring L. Now, if you didn't know, the Pacifica nameplate was a nameplate for the Chrysler brand for a midsize crossover back in the mid 2000s. But this time around, it replaces the Chrysler Town and Country as well as the Dodge Grand Caravan minivans. Now, if you didn't know, the minivan market goes all the way back into the 1980s, and Chrysler invented the minivan. So, this is a huge product for the Chrysler brand. Now, here goes the key fob design for the vehicle really do love Chrysler's new key fob designs. Very stylish, very modern looking. You have your remote keyless entry, your unlock, your lock. You also do have your power tailgate, remote engine start, and then your buttons to release your power sliding doors, and then you have your panic alarm. Now as far as styling goes of the all new Pacifica, as you can tell, it takes many styling cues from Chrysler's own 200, especially with the front fascia of the vehicle with the headlights and the grille. Certainly looks a lot more modern and sleek this time around. Now this color of the Pacifica is known as the bright white, and you also do have smart key access on the driver's door and the front passenger door. And on our Touring L model, we do get a full-on gray leather interior. Power driver's seat with power recline and power lumbar. Now, as you can see with the all-new Pacifica, they made a huge improvement to the interior design here. It's also a much more roomy and spacious feeling inside of here this time around. The step-in height is also fairly low. Of pretty ease of ingress and egress. It's pretty to, pretty easy to get in and out of the vehicle. In other words, I really just love this all new interior design of the Pacifica. Now you do have push button ignition. Just put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start. <laughs> and what you're hearing there is a 3.6 liter V6. You have a fully leather wrapped steering wheel. Coming to your transmission, you will find a 9-speed automatic that you'll also find in the Jeep Cherokee as well as the Chrysler 200. And then you also do have the dial shifter. And it takes a little bit of time to get used to, but overall it's pretty easy to use once you get used to it when you put the vehicle into reverse. This displays your rear view camera with guidance lines and you also do have trajectory as well as rear parking sensors. Rear cross traffic alert is also optional. And then you also do have an electronic parking brake. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the headlights, fog lights, and the hazards. Driver's window and the front passenger window are fully automatic. Let's go ahead and pop up the hood and check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors with blind spot detection. 17 inch alloy wheels. Coming up front, you have halogen projector beam headlights with LED daytime running lights, and you also do have halogen projector beam fogs. Now powering the all-new Pacifica here is a slightly revised version of Chrysler's 3.6 liter Pentastar V6. Produces 287 horsepower at 6,400 RPM and 262 pound-feet of torque at 4,000 RPM with EPA estimates being 18 in the city and 28 on the highway. Power is sent through the front wheels and a nine-speed automatic transmission is your only gearbox available. Now, if you want, there is going to be a plug-in hybrid that will be available in the future, but most Pacificas are going to come with this 3.6 liter V6. Provides plenty of power for the vehicle and it's pretty responsive with the nine-speed automatic.
On the top you also do have roof rails right here. Love the design of the all new Pacifica. It's much more modern and sleek. Coming to the rear of the vehicle, you have LED illuminated tail lights, rear window wiper with the rear window defroster. And you also do have rear parking sensors with rear reflectors. Coming to the steering wheel design, you will find Fiat Chrysler's all new design language and I really do like it a lot. You will find this on many of other Chrysler's, Jeeps, as well as Fiat's too. And you have a very fat steering wheel rim, which is typical of this steering wheel design. I really do like it a lot. It certainly looks a lot more interesting and modern. Over here we have your controls for the information display, which I will get to in just a minute. Then we have your voice recognition and your Bluetooth phone controls. And then you have your cruise control buttons here. The steering wheel also does manually tilt and telescope with a pretty good range of adjustment. Now one of the most important aspects for a minivan to be very competitive in this market is that it has to have plenty of storage space for the family's items and the all new Pacifica certainly does not disappoint here. There's plenty of storage space right here. You have storage space down here as well. Then you have this big old storage compartment. And then you have a nice little cubby right there as well as right here too. Right here is where you'll find your USB charging port, auxiliary input, and a 12 volt power outlet, as well as another USB charging port. Then you have dual cup holders, and then a nice little place to store your cell phone or whatnot. Now down here, what's also pretty inter interesting is that on the mat, it has all the generations of the Chrysler minivan, which is pretty cool. I really do love that. <laughs> Up here, you also do have a manually dimming rear view mirror with roadside assistance. Sunglass container. Little conversation mirror. Then your buttons to activate your power sliding doors. And then you have LED map lights. As far as seating comfort goes, the seats are very comfortable in the all-new Pacifica, which is very important for a very, uh, very large family hauler. And the seats are very plush. They provide plenty of thigh support. I would certainly take a long road trip in this vehicle. As far as visibility goes, visibility isn't as good as the old Chrysler minivans. However, it's okay. You have a decent amount of side glass area on the front windows. The eight pillars are a little thick, but at least they have this little front quarter window. When you get to rearward visibility, it's not as good as the last generation town and country and grand caravan, but it's all right. Coming to the gauges in the instrument cluster here, I really do love the blue illumination around the tachometer and the speedometer here and then in the center you have your driver information display which I'll get to in just a minute and then you have your fuel gauge and your coolant temperature now the driver information display is controlled by the buttons on the steering wheel right here it shows your fuel economy data your range and your average MPG then you have your vehicle info, info like your tire pressure monitoring coolant temperature transmission temperature oil temperature oil pressure then your oil life percentage, battery voltage, all that good stuff. And then you have a digital speedometer. You could change it to kilometers or miles per hour if you would like. Then you have your screen set up as well and any stored messages. And that shows your audio, what radio station is playing, and trip info, all that good stuff. Overall, love this little driver information display. However, I really do love Chrysler's larger TFT instrument cluster that you'll find on the Ram 1500 as well as the Jeep Grand Cherokee. Now when it comes to roominess inside of the Pacifica here there's plenty of it for the front occupants and of course the new Pacifica offers all of the latest safety technologies including adaptive cruise control, blind spot detection, for collision warning. There's also some pretty unique other features that you can get on this vehicle such as a vacuum system however that's kind of copied from Honda and then you also do have the availability of three sunroofs for all three rows which is pretty cool and then you can get rear seat entertainment systems for each headrest that include games on it which is pretty cool and it's like a little tablet for each headrest 
overall it's pretty nice now coming to the center stack here we have your climate controls and then right here you have your parking sensors off button your traction control off you could turn your screen off from right here by pressing this button too and then you also do have dual zone automatic climate control you have your temperatures right here fan speeds for the dial and it shows you up here what temperature you're at you can also adjust it from right here on the touch screen shows you what zone you're into then you have your front window defroster rear window defroster and your recycling mode we also do have an electronic parking brake which is nice as well coming to the main head unit in the infotainment system here we have Chrysler's highly praised 8.4 inch Uconnect touchscreen it's a slightly revised version on this new Chrysler Pacifica here and it works pretty well it's very intuitive and very user friendly with very simple and easy to use controls coming to your different audio sources we have all of the norm here AM FM series XM satellite radio your different media sources include your USB port Bluetooth streaming audio and your auxiliary input you have your controls right here you could control your heated seats from right here you have and high and a low for each side for the driver side and the front passenger side then you have your Uconnect apps you can access apps such as iHeartRadio, AHA all that good stuff you also have your roadside assistance Pandora then you have Slacker, Yelp, user guide and you also do have a Wi-Fi hotspot system coming to climate you could control all your climate functions from right here if you don't want to do it by the buttons down here then this is how you turn your screen off you could do it from the screen itself then you can connect your phone have all of your contacts stored on here as well as an integrated dial pad as well which is pretty nice overall love the 8.4 inch you connect touchscreen from Chrysler it's one of the best interfaces in the business because it's very easy to use and very intuitive up here you also do have your garage home link Now, as far as the way the all-new Pacifica drives, now, Chrysler wanted to make this vehicle much more comfortable to drive and much more engaging to drive as well, and they certainly succeeded. Now, it's not as good as the Honda Odyssey when it comes to its handling, but it certainly does have a very comfortable and smooth ride, and it's very hush inside of this cabin. This is kind of like the luxury minivan out of all the minivans in the segment. Overall, it's a very nice vehicle to drive. It's very pleasant all right and let's go ahead and shut it down let's go ahead and check out the rest of the Pacifica you also do have power sliding doors you can also do it just by pressing on the button right here hands-free power sliding doors are also optional on higher end trim levels and you also do have second row captain's chairs Now back here in the second row, you will find plenty of room for the family and the kids. There's lots of leg room back here and lots of headroom as well. The seats um, are not all that comfortable compared to some rivals. However, it's still pretty good for a long road trip. They're fairly plush. There's just not a whole lot of thigh support here. I could use a lot more thigh support. And you also do have these armrests right here. And you have dual map pockets and automatic climate control. Like I said, you can get a rear seat entertainment system with dual screens on the headrest that do feature a tablet-like design with games on them, which is pretty cool. And then you, you can also get three sunroofs for all three rows, which is nice. And you also do have manual sunshades back here. Now one of the main selling points for Chrysler minivans is the stow and go si seating system. It's been with Chrysler minivans for years, but it's been improved with the all new Pacifica here. And all you have to do is push this button on the side right here and the driver's seat will pull forward for you. And then you can fold the seat flat right into the floor. And it's a pretty easy mechanism. It's much easier than what you'll find in some other minivans where you have to take the whole seat out and it can be pretty cumbersome. Alright, now one reason why you'll 
pick a minivan over say a crossover is that it has much more leg room for the third row seats and I have plenty of leg room back here it's very comfortable just as comfortable as the second row seats and you can't say that for many SUVs or crossovers now back here you also do have dual cup holders and a USB charging port which is nice and then you also do have manual sunshades back here too and air vents as well as LED map lights all right power tailgate now these rear seats in the big Pacifica do fold down flat into the floor to maximize cargo space you also do have a 12 volt power outlet right here and to fold the seats flat into the floor you just follow the steps given fully manual passenger seat then you have your glove box compartment nice and damp so with its available plug-in hybrid model and innovative features such as three sunroofs for all three rows and hands-free power sliding doors the 2017 Chrysler Pacifica is one of the best and most innovative minivans that you can buy so remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews